News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, Animal Control releases information on a dog attack. The Valley Cruisers are celebrating 20 years. And Earth Day will be held at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. Good evening. It's Thursday, April 16th, 2015. I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. The fate of three dogs that attacked and killed a man has been revealed. According to Knight County Animal Control, who sent a disposition of the dogs that caused the death of Kenneth Ford. On the day that the dog attack occurred, on Black Street, March 13th, animal control officers secured the three dogs and took them to the Tails End Animal Shelter. Two of the dogs had been shot by a citizen at the scene of the attack. After the evaluation of these two, it was determined that one of the dogs was grievously wounded and was euthanized that day. The dogs had no record of rabies vaccinations and were immediately placed in quarantine. The dog that was euthanized was sent to Reno for laboratory testing for the presence of rabies. The test results ended up being negative. Four days after the attack, the owner of the dogs, Ricky Davidson, signed over the ownership of the animals to Nye County Animal Control. After waiting the mandated quarantine period for observation of rabies, the remaining two dogs were humanely euthanized on March 24th to prevent any further chance of public harm from these animals. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. More unreported shootings are coming to light after the disclosure that a guard shot a handcuffed inmate to death at a Nevada prison where guns were fired more than 200 times in a recent five-year period. Six inmates were wounded by shotgun blasts from a guard breaking up a breakfast scuffle in January 2012 at High Desert State Prison outside Las Vegas. Six months later, another inmate was blinded in one eye when a guard fired a shotgun to stop two other inmates fighting in the dinner hall. Nevada Department of Corrections data show guards fired 215 gunshots at the prison from 2007 to 2011. The prison is Nevada's largest and busiest, holding almost 4,200 medium and high-risk prisoners. By comparison, Nevada's maximum security prison in Ely houses about 1,180 inmates. The Valley Cruisers of Pahrump are having a car show this Saturday at Petrick Park. Chuck and Decker have arranged all the entertainment this year and some of it's going to be a surprise but they have had several people come forward and that are going to entertain. So How many cars are we looking forward to uh, seeing down there? At least 150. We have uh, about 60 pre-registered but because we had a rain out last year so we have a lot of people kind of in reserve. They don't want to because we do get a lot of people to come other than at Pahrump. So they're going to be a flood on the day of the event. We're quite sure of that. This is a fundraiser, isn't it? Yes, it is. And what's that go to? The Food for Thought program. It goes to Not to Abuse, Toys for Tots, Children, Lions Club, Letters to Santa, First Choice, uh, Children's Services, lots and lots of things for the children. Wonderful. Can people still register for this car show? Definitely. Yeah. They can order, register from, pre-register is 7 in the morning to come inside the park. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's not pre-registered, then we have the parking on the outside, and we have our treasurer there with her assistance, mm -hmm. and they will register. They will receive a T-shirt, but not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. We do have enough that at least 20 to 30 people the day of the event will probably receive a t-shirt. It may not be their size, but they can remember their grandchildren. How much is it to register your car? 
The day of event, it's $30. And this is free and open to the public to come see the shows, to have some yeah, fun, entertainment, definitely. food. Definitely, it is free. All right. And What's at 11.30, we do the free child's raffle. Mm -hmm. And we give out raffle tickets to the children. We make sure every child receives a ticket. And as we call the numbers, if they can't read it, then the parent helps them and the gifts are laid out and they get to come up and pick out a gift. And usually CVS gives me about two or three bonus prizes. So they'll save one of their tickets and then some child will receive something that's a little more expensive. So the time of the car show? Eight to four. When we return, Nevada Public Auction and a new study on a popular pain reliever. This portion of the news is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. Welcome back. Here's Ron Chase with Nevada Public Auction. Hey, well, all right, sir, here this there. segment is sponsored by Nevada Public Auction. Uh, this weekend we have another nice auction set up. Uh, lots and lots of nice uh, gifts, stuff for dad. You know, Father's is only a month and a half away, so it's just a really nice auction of collectibles. Tons of coins and lots of NASCAR stuff like autographed cards, uh, cars, uh, banks, you know, Dale Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon, Richard Petty, John Deere stuff. Just tons and tons of nice diecast stuff in here this weekend. Tell me about all these silver strikes. What are those? Uh, silver strikes are actually uh, kind of a, a special thing you used to win at casinos. Certain machines would spit out like a special silver coin. And uh, we actually have some rare ones all the way back from when they were $2, then $7, $10, uh, 28 and 40 which are really rare strikes because you had to win enough of the smaller denominations and then go to the casino cage and trade them in. So we have like about 40 or 50 of these. It's a really nice collection, and there's a lot of rare silver strikes in there. Not to mention all the usual coins we always have gold, silver. Um, in fact, this week I have four nice, like, uh, 100 coin, like, starter coin lots. Some pennies, some nickels, some dimes, some silver, some quarters in there. So if you're thinking about getting something for your kids or grandkids to start collecting, we have four or five nice lots to really get somebody started in coin collecting. How can people find out more? Uh, for more information, you always call us here at 751-4867. Uh, the website is auctionnv.com. This is actually one of our catalog sales, so everything is completely sold in numerical order. The whole catalog is online, and you can bid from anywhere in the world. Tell me about pre- uh, All day Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Friday at 10 a.m. So we do open our door. Well, all right, sir, this segment is sponsored by Nevada Public now, Auction. A new study has found that acetaminophen, the main ingredient in Tylenol, most forms of Midol, and more than 600 other medicines, reduces not only pain, but pleasure as well. The authors of the study, which was published this week in the magazine Psychological Science, say that it was already known that acetaminophen blunted psychological pain, but their new research led them to the conclusion that it also blunted joy. In other words, that it narrowed the range of feelings experienced. This means that using the drug might have brought consequences than previously thought. Rather than just being a pain reliever, acetaminophen can be seen as an all-purpose emotion reliever. Earth Day will be held at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park next Saturday. April 25th is uh, our annual Earth Day event, and I think we've been doing this a little over a dozen years. Uh, we will be once again in uh, Ian Deutsch Memorial Park, 10 a.m. to about 3 or 4 p.m. And once again, it's going to be based around uh, education. We'll have fun, we'll have food, we'll have music. We will be looking at ways of saving uh, our, uh, our own little valley here from uh, drought, from uh, we're going to learn how to save electricity. We're going to learn, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun games there. Earth Day encompasses so many different uh, conservation um, efforts. How many vendors and what types of uh, things will we be seeing there? Well, we want to have vendors. We'll have uh, presenters. We'll have the uh, Debbie Woodland, who is always there from the Cooperative Extension. We'll have uh, the uh, um, Home Depot will be over there. They have the, uh, the uh, uh, clothes dryer on the outside, which I have one at home. I'll bring that. Mm -hmm. uh, but these, uh, you... you, you Put your clothes outside and let the, the wind dry rather than an electric dryer. Uh, saves you money and uh, they smell good too. Uh, 
Star Nursery will be over there. They'll have some fun things for people to do. We'll have the, uh, the garden club. We'll have the four-wheelers. We'll have uh, a lot of different uh, games in uh, things for the people. BLM will be there. You can pet a burrow. They don't have one that uh, you can adopt. It's been adopted, but they'll bring a burrow over there. And they'll have some other equipment over there. Entertainment? Yes, we're look, still looking at entertainment, and uh, we're looking at something different this year. I put a call out for drummers. We're hoping to have a drum circle and hopefully hoopers. And what is a hooper? We're, we're bringing some <laughs> folks in and we're supplying them with hula hoops and they have a tendency to go together. So we'll have different uh, fun and games with the music also. So we're still looking for uh, some music for that also. But if not, we'll, we'll have the drum circle. And we'll have hot dogs, we'll be serving hot dogs. But with those, rather than having some potato chips or something else, we're gonna find something, a fruit or something to uh, have with your hot dogs that's, that's healthy. So all of this is happening on April 25th from 10 to about two or three in Deutsch Memorial Park. For more information, is there a number to call? Right. You can call us at the Mary, Duff, or myself at the Coalition, 775-727-9970. We introduce you to comedian John Hilder, who performed at Sanders Family Winery for the Qantas Club's Laughing Under the Stars fundraiser. I have another brother, though, who is uh, actually less successful than me, if you can believe that. That's the beauty of being from a large family. There's actually someone always doing worse than you. My brother is 36. He's been a barista at Starbucks for the last 11 years. Wow. Barista, by the way, is Italian for failure. <laughs> it's a little known Italian translation, yes. Oh, it was a great time. It was a great crowd outdoors. Always a good time. Free wine. Well, for me. I think most people had to pay for it. But I got free wine as a performer, so. There you, go. <laughs> you work with the comedy machine? I do, yes. Well, it's actually my second time. Yeah. Last night was the first time. Yeah. So, uh. The performance uh, went off really well. Um, tell me how you liked the crowd. They were great. Really responsive, great crowd, open. I loved this. It was really, really fun. Pahrump was everything I hoped it could be and more. So are you living in Vegas right now? I do live in Las Vegas now. How's that going? Where are you performing there? Uh, Planet Hollywood, Sin City Comedy. Planet Hollywood's my regular gig, seven nights a week. So we can see you there? You can see me there every night of the week at 8.30 p.m. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So, um... So you came out here for this performance. What's coming up next um, outside of the Planet Hollywood? Uh, going to San Antonio, the River Center Comedy Club, June 24th to the 28th. That's my next big road thing. Do you have a website so that people can see I your do. performances? JohnHilder.com on YouTube, uh, Yanni83, Y-O-H-N-N-Y-8-3. Wonderful. And so, uh, of course, uh, Planet Hollywood, they get their tickets online or just uh, go online, to Planet Online, box office, either way, SinCityComedy.com. And it's a great show, seven nights a week, 8.30 p.m. Thank you Comedy so and burlesque, so you, you get everything. So are you performing the burlesque? I wish. I've, I've got the body for it, but they... <laughs> yeah. I will say that when I was in junior high, one of my teachers did try to hit on me. It made me so uncomfortable, I almost dropped out of school for the first time. Yeah. But uh, people, and she was actually a pretty good looking lady, so guys always ask me why I didn't just go for it, ask me why it made me so uncomfortable. I thought it was very simple, it made me so uncomfortable because I was homeschooled. <laughs> Your weekend sports after the break.